supply for us tonight in Berkeley. And Amanda, some people are questioning why it took so long to make an arrest here. That's right. And even though that teenage boy who police say had plans to carry out an attack here at the school is in custody, still I'm told that many students and teachers didn't go to school today. Today was the last day of school, and as students were taking their finals, they had thoughts of what could have happened. It's pretty scary that like someone like in the halls, like walking next to us could be capable of that. On the final day of the school year at Berkeley High, all anyone could talk about was the threat of a school shooting and bombing by one of their peers. If somebody didn't say anything, like who knows what could have happened and that's just like a really scary thought to have. Police and the school district announced Wednesday a 16 year old student had been arrested Monday after a tip to police led to a search of his home eight days earlier. In his residence, we found uh, Parts to an assault rifle, parts to an explosive, but not the completed items. Byron White with Berkeley PD says the threat was credible, but they couldn't arrest him quite yet. If we don't have probable cause to make an arrest, well, the person is going to get released. The weapon parts were taken, and the school district was told he wasn't allowed on campus, while investigators built a case, learning the teen was doing searches on the dark web, tried to buy a gun on campus, and had computer equipment that could potentially complete the weapons. He was then arrested Monday. It was, I think, extra shocking to know that we had been going to school for 10 days since the threat without any of us being informed about it. Students say in class, teachers spoke about the frustration of not being in the loop. At least teachers could have been more aware and could have been able to keep students in class more or be a little more careful, like keep the doors closed. The fact that he had weapons is incredibly scary. Although they were sickened by the idea a fellow student had plans to attack the school, students weren't shocked. Everyone says that, oh, it can't happen here. It can happen anywhere. As we've, be it's become very clear that it can happen anywhere. It doesn't matter. Students say luckily someone tipped off police, giving them the time to investigate the signs. So often we learn about after a deadly shooting. The biggest thing about Berkeley High, which is good, is that people are unafraid, unafraid to stand up for themselves for the most part. And if they heard that something sketchy was going on, people are going to talk about it because they, w people in the school actively want their s other peers to stay safe. This is still an active investigation. That initial tip was that the student was trying to recruit other students at the school to carry out the attack with him. So police say that many of the witnesses they are, they are speaking to are young. They are encouraging anyone else who might know anything about that student's plans to come forward. Live in Berkeley, Amanda Quintana, KTVU Fox 2 News. Yeah, and Amanda, in this situation, when someone saw something suspicious, they reported it. Exactly, and that is what police are saying is the good news in yeah. this story. When somebody heard something, when somebody heard something that they th just thought wasn't right, they stood up, they said something, and, and that's exactly what they want. Ultimately led to this young man's arrest. All right, Amanda Quintana, thank you.